Today we're having a new experience. Actually, and here's our friends coming to join us. So since we left Wisconsin, we have been passing a lot of Waffle Houses and we don't have those in Wisconsin. Mark just didn't want to give it a try, but now that we have our friends here, they're open to experiencing the Waffle House. Let's check it out. That's me. I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, you know why I'm excited? Because this is the first time in about 10 years that I've known Jerry that I actually got somewhere before him. Wow, so, good yeah, point. He must have drove to technical, Sheboygan and back. Technical, uh, technically, Wendy's inside already. I know. <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah I, I saw her walking oh. in. <laughs> with my hat on, but I assure you that there's a certain level of customer appreciation that you have to have before you can have this on. And we've worked with our guests here and we've trained them to appreciate the Waffle House as well. And you'll notice that they also are good customers of the Waffle House. <laughs> this one looks like Popeye. Oh, and a little style. Yeah. Beautiful. I love <laughs> I think I think that's me for a kid's head. <laughs> well, you can, you can pull it up and make it a seven. I gotta get a picture of Jeff. I've already learned a few things here at Waffle House. One of them is how to adjust your hat. My friend Jerry here told me oh. that if you pull out to your head size, <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. I've got a lot better fit now. Oh my God. Here's what I'm going to do. If my expenses keep raising on the, uh, on the rig, I'm going to start working in. I'll be able to eat breakfast for free. Oh my God, you'd be great. All right, now that we have our Waffle House experience done, we're ready for some exploring. In the Fort Myers area, there are a lot of different preserves, so we decided we wanted to explore the Six Mile Cypress Slough Preserve. So we're at the Nature Preserve, and these guys just can't let go of their waffle hats. Will they ever grow up? What do you mean? These, these were earned. <laughs> grow up? You know, you, you only get these hats, first of all, a couple of major things. You have to order. $50 yes. or more per cable worth of yeah, food, which oh, we perfect. easily do. Second, you have to be a newbie. You have to tell them that you're a Waffle House virgin. And, and proud of it, and you have to wear it for the rest of the day. Good right. job, guys. Right. Wait, you know what's going to be awesome? Is we're going to wear these to the Packer party we're going to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, let it, you know. Excellent. Hey, the fashionable to way to oh, wear a hat. Oh, yes, we what exactly are you guys doing? Checking out what we want to do and see at the, um, what is it, Six Mile Cypress Sloth? Is that how you say You can it? do yoga huh. here. At the preserve. You can what? do yoga here. So yeah. how does a preserve differ from jam? In the flavor, duh. <laughs> <laughs> this preserve actually has a lot going on here. Every morning they have a guided walk, along with bird walks, learn about alligators. They also have art and yoga classes here. The interpretive center is really educational too, with all kinds of hands-on things. Admission to the park is free, but there is a parking fee, $1 an hour or $5 maximum. They also have a bookstore. 
Good luck guided tour. You want one? One per group. Didn't they say the book? You got it. So what is that? Please return the book after you walk. You saw okay. a little guided tour. Excellent. Okay, we're ready to go. Uh, so we're at number one, so then we have to look at number one. So. <laughs> this boardwalk trail guide was fantastic. It was numbered throughout the, the whole park, and it actually made you stop and really look around to observe things. They also had a number of different signs throughout the park that were really fantastic, too. Jerry went in there. Is he aware of that we have to be quiet in here? Jerry? <laughs> yeah, see up he here? Is. Up here, right here. Entering quiet oh, zone. Quiet. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find some alligators. Is that a turtle in there? Yeah, I think it is. If you are quiet and patient, there is all kinds of wildlife to be seen. That's actually one of the signs we saw along the boardwalk. It said, be still and be quiet for four minutes and observe nature around you. That's when you really see all the creatures coming out. And actually, it's kind of cool advice, even if you're not out in nature. You know, if you're on Las Vegas Strip, or taking a walk, or riding a bike, just stop for four minutes and observe around you. You're gonna see a lot of things that you would have missed. It's cool, our boardwalk has taken us right along the alligator pond. And there's our turtle. Look at how well this is designed. And this is what Mark observes. It really is. Yes. You would know you're an engineer. With the cutouts for the uh, walking, and then they're outlined in white. So here we are at a preserve, and I'm totally digging the nature, and Mark is analyzing structures. <laughs> the yin and yang of Sue and Mark. Well, I like how they have the cutouts to delineate the people that I'm smart enough to realize that you can't sit down in the front <laughs> row so that people can't fill up the second and third row, which they don't want. But then also for people like me to stumble over everything, they have them outlined in white. Excellent. So you'll notice I know where it is and I didn't stumble. Wow. Even though this was the fourth take we had to take to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's what they told us in the rainforest with the bamboo. How you can you can hear them growing, right Jerry? Is that what they said? Yeah. You can hear them growing if you listen. Wow. That's crazy. Noises. Yeah, he did that before, I'm like, oh, I'll do it again, and then the fish disappeared. Did you learn anything, Mark? Well, yeah, but probably not what you learned. What did you learn? I sat here. Because Henry David Thoreau said that you learn something if you sit down in the woods and wait because something will happen. Mm -hmm. So I sat here and what I learned was that two people put graffiti on this fence and they had to grind it off. <gasps> oh my God, Mark. That is correct. Good observation. Good job, hon. Thanks, hon. See any wildlife? See it now. <laughs> See? There, something happened, Mark. When you do sit, you observe things. So he picked his head up, he put his head in the middle of his coils, and then he There's tightened his, his coils around his head, so his head is underneath the coils. Look at how well camouflaged he is. See it, Wendy? You know, to get an authentic video, honey, and you do have your sandals off, I think, do you think you could go in there and just give it a little nudge? To uh, you know, get some movement on. It's a movie after all. I'll now I'll take one for the for the that's channel. The one yeah, that yeah take one for still. the team.
Where are we, Wendy? We are at Fort Myers Beach at the holiday, Christmas, whatever, boat parade. Yes. Our very first time. Front row seats. Front row seats, we think. At sunset. We don't really know because we've never done this before. But <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the 31st annual Fort Myers Beach Christmas Boat Parade. The parade began at Salty Sam's Marina and it passed by many restaurants on the bay, so you're sure to get a good seat somewhere. Don't tell me you were waiting for me again. Oh my gosh, Marco. Where are you going today? Uh, well, doing one of my favorite things. I'm going to a Packer game party in uh, Fort Myers. The name of the bar is what? The Parrot? Parrot something. The Parrot something. It's called the uh, Lambo South of the world. And considering we're in Florida, you can't get a lot more south than this. So we're gonna see how it goes. I did make sure I went back, that's why I'm late. I made sure that I had not one, but two of my migraine pills, honey. And I do have- <laughs> are, uh, you, are you afraid it's gonna to be too loud? Yeah, and I do have double set of uh, uh, hearing protection uh, for me as well as you, so we, we should be all set. Oh my gosh. So what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna lock the rig and I'm gonna shut the water off. As always. As always. Well, you're getting a shot of that uh, regulator that we have in our Amazon store. As, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> as well as our hose that's in our mm. Amazon store. And as well as all of the electronics that we keep in here, which is our mm. auto former and our progressive industries surge protector. Nice. As well as our on the go water mm. softener and our clear source so that people know that we're not a phony we do use this stuff oh and our zero g hoses honey <laughs> <laughs> what about our tire covers oh and those are right here <laughs> yeah okay we got it all let's go so as usual we forgot something after we locked up and now we got to go inside here we go you know why i knew i forgot something I couldn't get in the car. <laughs> oh my God, are you serious? Oh geez. It's gonna be one of those days. I know, let's go. <laughs> you know, I just changed shirts from my- Barbecue? <laughs> my big barbecue shirt from- uh, Big Papa's. Yeah, Maybe. Big Papa's. Uh, this was on Sanibel Island. And when I put this on, I just, I just, I kind of changed physically inside. I just went, yeah! So we're, hi. So we're here with our friends, Wendy, and she's on my left, and Jerry on the right. <laughs> oh, and Jerry's advertising that he was at Waffle House. The Waffle House. That's why it says WH. And we got here just a little early. The game starts at 1 p.m. What time is it, you guys? Oh, uh, about 10.30. 10.30, I see. And if you look here in the parking lot, you can see that we're a tad <laughs> early here. Uh, Jerry is parked here. And we got cars coming in already. We're going to be in the way. We better uh, get out of the way. We actually found a, a bar in Fort Myers that caters to the Packers fans. On Sundays, that's it. 
That's all they show are Packer, uh, Packer games. So the game doesn't start till 1, and the, um, the bar doesn't open till 11.30, but it's 10.30. We're here. We're ready. It's been open for an hour, but we want our seat, so we're waiting for it to open. <laughs> this isn't it. This is not your seat? No. <laughs> it's, waiting it's an excellent seat, though. Actually, you know, it is pretty good, and if I get bored, I'm going to come back here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. For, real? for real. And here we are. Packers out. Yeah. If you need to see the Packers in Fort Myers, this is where you go. So this is why we're in Fort Myers. This is what we have to look forward to every single day for the next four months. No. Today's December 8th. We've got a high temperature predicted of 80, a low of 59, 70. 10% rain and our sunset today at 5.35. It's going to get later and later. Yeah, I know, and this is tough to put up with, but <laughs> we're trying to man up and uh, Somebody's got to do, do it. So with all this time on our hands, we all found something to do. Here we are, two hours before the game. Pretty much the only people here. Well, there's a few. Just the real fans. Oh yeah, get, get ready, Mark. It, it'll be a workout. I know, this is strenuous. <laughs> As you see, the pregame is already on ah. So he had more time to kill. <laughs> and there's Wendy going for the chair. Perfect. Good spot, right by the screen, plus near the outdoors. Yeah. Wait. all going over there. Way to rush in there, Wendy. They're going to the big screens over here. We have our own little blue. Nobody's here. It's me. It's me. Not for long. Don't get don't get uh, too cocky here. You know? <laughs> all right, the guys finally caught up with us. We made it. We got our spot. Parrot Key Caribbean Grill really is Lambo South, and it's the Green Bay Packers headquarters for Southwest Florida. Early. All right, I'm going All right to so Wendy's on a hunt for the perfect shirt to fit her collection. Long sleeve because it's actually winter where I live. You got like that it. right. The Parrot Key Grill is actually located in Salty Sam's Marina. That's right where we were for the boat parade last night. The owner is actually from Wisconsin and made it a Green Bay bar so he could actually watch the games every week. So here we have uh, boats on a shelf. That's what you do when you don't have enough room. And this big guy scoops them up and puts them down in the water. They have a special Ooh. Packers menu with Wisconsin favorites, including cheese curds, Wisconsin brewed beers, and Johnsonville brats. Here Mark actually looks like he's watching the game until you notice he's got his reader glasses on. So during the halftime, we decided to go out into the marina again. And I don't quite remember, but I'm guessing the Packers were winning at this point.
Once the game was over, we headed over to Fort Myers Beach for a beautiful sunset. What a great way to end the day.